Hey, in this quick video, let's go ahead and see what it takes to add a zipper in ZBrush. So maybe you are making a jacket or some kind of a fashion uh, piece and you just need a quick uh, pre-made zipper here in ZBrush. So to do this, all you need to do is let me just increase the size of my sphere here so I can demonstrate the zipper a little better. I'm going to jump into my brushes and once you uh, have your brushes open, find something that's called IMM uh, zipper and it's built into ZBrush. So um, just pick one, right? So you have a couple different variations here. So let's go ahead with the first one, zipper M. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm just gonna select the first one, close zipper and just simply make the size of the uh, brush as you wish and just simply draw a line. Once you draw a line, a zipper will appear. So in this case, maybe it's a little too large. Uh, a zipper will appear and now what you could do is you can move the line around as you uh, wish or if you need to make the zipper longer then of course you can just come down here and continue drawing it. Um, if you are happy with your zipper you just simply tap on your mesh and that's going to sort of uh, bake it in. And once you tap it, you can see that the mesh is still masked, but the zipper is not, which means you can go to split and you can even uh, split on mask, and that's gonna put the zipper on its own uh, layer, which is really cool. You can then of course also change the uh, material if you uh, wanted to. So that's uh, cool. And let's go ahead and take a look at the other zipper. So I'm gonna go back into my IMM brushes and this time I'm gonna click, click on zipper P. Select my sphere and draw the zipper. All right, and you can see that this is slightly different um, pattern of the zipper, but the bottom line is it's very simple. All you need to do is just simply drag it. I'm gonna again tap to, to commit and there you have it. So you have two uh, zippers that are uh, available and you can also do uh, open zippers, closed zippers. That's how simple and easy it is. So for anyone who is new to ZBrush, uh, this option is here and uh, feel free to take advantage of it. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.